Okay, we're in. 2.8 gig, 2.5 gig of RAM, 32 bit because that's all it supports. Windows is activated. Everything here is good. Device Mangler says. Uh oh. And the audio. Well, that's nothing the driver pack can't get. But I do need to install Service Pack 1. So let me shut down, swap all the drives back, and get this thing booted up and start installing Service Pack 1. Okay, everything is now back in order as it was. We're going in the BIOS, drive config, hard drive, auto, and that should do save and exit go back and check because apparently this BIOS is fickle and I did find see how it says a 12 there I did find that is actually the latest BIOS so fortunately we don't have to upgrade that that opens a whole nother can of worms not cool and there it is we're all good And now we're booting Windows. Brilliant. So we'll let that do its thing. And uh, it'll detect the optical drives. And once that's set, then we'll install Service Pack 1. Well, it did that much right. Here's the video driver I saved. Let's see if that'll install. I don't need that anymore. Certainly don't need that right now. Don't need service pack one at the moment. Ah, didn't say sorry, can't do it kind. Um, I guess we'll just fucking install it. Let's see what happens. Okay, that was odd. Oh, it's doing things. Okay, detected all that shit. I think I'm actually going to close this because it's going to want to reboot after the video driver. So let me come back when something happens. So I guess it's got three separate programs that it's installing. I don't know what new updates it put in. That's kind of ridiculous at this point. I mean, I knew there were three things it was going to install, but apparently they're their own MSI files. Well, <laughs> I didn't reboot yet. Um, let me just refresh. Well, we'll just do that for a minute. Huh. Interesting. Well, let me reboot. Standard VGA graphics adapter. You knew this one wasn't going to work well, right? I mean, everything else didn't. And the sound magically has uh, has sound now. Maybe that was the update it downloaded before. I have no other choice now but to go ahead and install Service Pack 1. So let me go and do that, which is this. And then after that's in, I can run driver pack and see if that has anything, and also portable update, see if that has anything. Well, we have service pack one in, and obviously not a damn has happened in the video card department. Did some more research and found that the video card is not compatible, even though the drivers on their website specifically state that card and Windows 7 32-bit. Well, doesn't look like Driver Pack has anything good either. That's fucking brilliant. Oh shit. Now what? Well, what we have here is the Dell Windows XP drivers. We'll go to compatibility and run as administrator for XP Service Pack 3 
and you know it's not going to work. Just see what happens. Almost a guarantee this is going to blow the system up. Oh, okay. It says installing. Oh, probably not a good idea to do that. These are like guaranteed to blue screen the machine. There's no way it's going to fucking work. I hate when everything says yes compatible, yes works, and yet doesn't. There's no there's no excuse for shit like that. So it is actually traipsing through the hard drive. There we go. I'll restart later. Still didn't show anything there. We'll go and restart and see what happens. Probably going to just blue screen. Okay, we're booting. If it doesn't blue screen, then nothing will have happened. And it's still just going to show standard VGA, which is quite possibly what it's going to do. Yep. So let's see and verify that for sure once it gets into Windows. Although I am noticing this color fringing, that's possibly... Oh look. Uh, yeah, I don't think that helped any. I don't know what the fuck that's about. Did that, like, fuck the modem up or something? I don't know. Just for shits. Let's see if we can query that. Uh, here. Nifty. <laughs> At least not now, anyway. And the display adapter says... You're shitting me. That's all it was? It just fucking works now? Come on. Yeah, and there's the modem now. So let's go back. It couldn't have possibly been that easy. There's no damn way. This was supposed to be like a royal fucking pain in the ass. Alright, well, we'll go here. Hit that again. And see if it'll query the modem. I, again, I don't know why it did that. That was really peculiar. Well, still can't do that. Maybe after reboot, but if it don't work, it doesn't really matter. <sighs> Screen resolution is key now. Well, this only says 800 by 6... I'm sorry, 1024 by 768, because that's what this monitor supports. But I'll hit OK. Heh. <laughs> It did it. And uh, I gotta change the camera battery and we'll see what else. Alright, so a couple last minute things here. List all modes. Well, I don't see 85 hertz, but that doesn't mean it can't do it. Again, that may be based on the monitor. 128 meg of graphics memory it's all there all right so that's all good I'm gonna cut that in fact I'll just take all of these just for shits and I'll put that let's just see how bad the transfer rate is on this thing I made a drivers folder before It says 30 megabytes a second, 25, 27, so not bad. Let's go to control panel and see if we can remove the uh, NVIDIA shit. In fact, I think, yeah, it's best to try to uninstall it here. Yeah, we'll leave that one, but we'll uninstall all of that because none of that is going to help. 
So let me run through all that. I'm going to then reboot and we'll see if the modem magically works then. Yeah, all the little fuzzies now are gone, so that's good. Although I think that was really more of an artifact of it being run 800 by 600 on a native 1024 by 768 panel. With that said and done, let's see if the modem now is uh, able to be queried. Just for shits and grins. Um, nope. This is COM4. That's interesting. I could fart around with that and see. But again, it's not really even necessary. And our drivers still are in. So that's good. Let's run the Windows Experience and see what we actually end up with. Well, it has some numbers, but there were no video drivers in at the time. So I'm going to rerun it. And we'll see if it goes anything from a 1.0 up. Well, apparently Mikey likes it a little bit. It actually gave a 1.9 on the desktop performance for Aero. Still 1.0 for the gaming graphics, but fuck that all. Don't need any of that noise. It's now time to run a uh, portable update. I think there's a copy on here I can get. Yeah, in here should be the executable. That's all I need. The rest, while it probably would work on here, I'll just have it re-download everything. It'll be a lot better that way. And the size of the file it actually goes to download has increased over the years I've been using this program from like 200 something to now 470 megabytes so anyway I'm just gonna let this search and do its thing we got the video driver in I still don't know how we actually got the OS installed and the video driver in so that's not bad at all thanks for watching Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. Oh, and by the way, I was not able to get the modem working yet, so I'll have to look into that. I did try removing and reinstalling it, but that still didn't work. Also changed its port from COM4 to COM2. That didn't work either. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.